What the fuck is Guru done now? Motherfuck, man. I get something from Finland and it, it changes all my shit up. That moron, which one I talk to that buddy? Yeah. It is, uh, 9.30, a.m. in the United States of America. I've been sleeping for a day. When I crash land, I crash land. I got so fucked up the other day. It was unbelievable. And I crashed land. I slept for like 12 freaking hours. This is Mr. K from CincyLiveRadio.com, www.cincytylivedio.com. The Cincy Live Radio part is all one word. Don't forget the three W's in the dot in dot com. All right? Yeah. Now I've been doing updates all day today. And I come into my fucking account. Fucking Google. You see this bird? You kiss it. See that one? Kiss it. You guys piss me off. I hate Google. I do. I hate it. It owns you. It does. It, it wants to know everything you're doing in the world. Just like on uh, Colton. Sorry, Colton 1. I use that name because that's my son's middle name. I'm Colton. Yeah, it changed a few years back. See, a cult is a, uh, excuse me, my knees all swelled up from going out and shooting the other day. Um, this is a baby horse. Yeah. So, when you're born and you're an engine, when the male comes out of the tent, the first thing they see, they name a child. I, I don't expect you to understand it or anything, and no, I won't speak my native English to you, my, my, my native language to you. I barely talk English. I'm the most misunderstood son of a bitch in the world, and you guys have made it that way. And, and, and uh, bro, he, uh, I, I'm sorry I clicked him out, but it felt unsafe at the moment. Hop through. Um, I hope you see this because I'm going to put it on Facebook. I'm going to put it everywhere. Um, I'm going to give the link to you in your Skype because I love you dearly. I know. But you're a good guy. Fuck them the rest. Fuck them and feed them little bitty bird dicks. That's what I say. Yeah, I'm Bledger. I'm really crazy. A piece of it. Totally unaccepted. So what? Just to enjoy myself, we went out and spent over a hundred bucks on ammo that we packed ourselves uh, from 12 gauges, solid slugs. Oh my God, you should see the damage in my fucker's did. And then we put scatters, and then we had the 410 shotgun double barrel, and then a nine millimeter came out. Whoa! We had a blast. And then he pulled out the 45. And that was mine. Double clip. One shot in a chamber, two nine in their clips. And bam, bam. And man, I gotta be damn drunk. Damn drunk, miss you with that motherfucker. Out of, out of 18 shots, and not be able to pop the clip and pop it back in. You know, 18 plus one equals 19 plus one in the chamber. And we had a blast. My knee is so fucked up now. It, di it didn't fuck up so late yesterday. Then it swelled up like two. I had to call a surgeon. I said, look, okay, he can't fix the kneecap. Okay, he can't. Because he can't get the rod out. Now, I don't understand why a trauma surgeon can't go in microsurgery and just 
laser that piece of rod out and pull it out and then pull the kneecap put a new one in but you know I mean ignorance is bliss because I've looked it up they told me he turned me on to a place called Wright State Clinic this is actually a documentary up in Milltown which is probably closer to Cincinnati than I am Milltown's Road Road because I'm in Hamilton Kentucky in Ohio that's right in Skate Hamilton Kentucky in Ohio Australia, nasty says fool that bitch. Oh yeah, the most misunderstood man in the world. That's okay. That's okay. You can judge me and judge me. You must be a god. Because only God can judge you. Remember that. Please do. When you judge somebody, you better think fucking twice. Three times, four times. You know, when the hot brew got a hold of me, and I, and I was afraid to reply to it because I had some funky shit going on. No disrespect, hop for Connecticut. Um, I got both your shit, you know, and I am very misunderstood. Um, you you understand me because you know my situation with the. You know, tracheotomy, the herniated my vocal cords, and uh, and I know why you have your problem. But do I, I've never made fun of you, never ever. You're always going to be my friend, just like peace talker. I call him the peace man. He actually made a name up, the peace man, because he is. He wants to live in peace. He's from Finland, you know, peace man. You know. Yeah, I woke up at about three this morning, you know, after sleeping a day. Fucking couldn't move, couldn't do that. My back's all fucked up from this asshole surgeon. He must have beat on my fucking femur. You got the screws out of the rod that's been embedded in the bone. And he says to replace the kneecap, you gotta pull the rod out. Well, it's fused to the bone. It won't come out. And I asked him, and why can't you just do microsurgery and laser it all? Shit, my wife could do that. She's a laser, a laser robotic technician for General Electric. You know, they're making a part for Israel and everywhere, man. The motherfuckers are busy. General Electric takes care of everybody around the world. You know, there's little turbine blades inside the jet engines. Yeah, well, she makes them. Yeah, laser, they got to be precise. Helicopters, everything. So, let me warn the birds up. This is for y'all that want to judge. Quit judging motherfuckers when you don't even know them. You understand me now, boy? Your best, because I'm bringing out of Earth. You better watch out. Judge me again. Judge me. Then I'll start judging you, and I'll make you look like the biggest piece of bullshit that I ever crawled the face of this Earth. You understand me now? Yeah, you understand me real motherfucking clear. All right? Yeah, I paid my copyright infringements, and they cost me out the asshole. Yeah, but I can't put up the movies at college because it was another $350 for a year. Even though I bought them. You know, I bought them. I bought all my music. Everything. And, uh, it was $200 just to get copyright to play music again. To put out the movies and the concerts, it was like another $350. You know. I didn't take nobody's suggestions or not like that. Well, I just gave the links to my wife that a good friend of mine in Arizona gave me. And it's very touchy. You can only play a musician one time every three hours. So I cannot take requests anymore. Because once you get started, you're, you're, you're like, like Steve Vai said, 
Are you going to be in a fair three-way? Well, all I have to do that if it's in a set. Okay. <coughs> Please excuse me, I have a trait, and sometimes it goes down the wrong too. Um, I, I can't do it anymore. You know, I say I will not be taking requests no more on um, Cincy unless it's stolen that I ain't played in three hours. It's a fine tooth nail comb. <clears throat> and I have to pay yearly for this. Do y'all come? No. I remember when I opened up Cincy Live Radio dot com ten years ago. And that tag board, my chat room that I pay for, ran so fast, man, I couldn't keep up with it. But that was before chat clients came out. They want to see your face. Well, I got to plan my face on there. All right. And there's been so many butt hurt people because I won't ban the peace man. And it's like, People were saying yesterday, yeah, the peace band is always in your house, man, even if you're somewhere else. Then you know what? I lost tons of friends. Tons. I don't give a fuck. I know that man since he was seven. I mean, seven years ago, excuse me. He was actually 14. He was on blog TV. I'm not talking to him. Pretty decent individual. No homo shit, you know, no faggatory shit, you know. Um, see, he spent nine months in vagina. And when the doctor pulled him out of that vagina and smacked his ass, he said, I need me some pussy. And I need me some pussy now. Well, I get it with him round one. Because my sassified, my sassy affide takes care of me. But, you know, you're all glad and everything. He's actually 21 now. And people think he's a troll and all this stupid shit, man. And uh, so what? You all are trolls. How would you know if you weren't trolling? See, X Vlogs, man, that, that's a nice platform. And uh, I'm thinking about buying a monthly account and see if I, I, I need to talk to somebody. They just don't reply to everything. Uh, well, <coughs> there <went> again. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, you know, I want to know if I can put a media player on there. I can do blog. All right. Or if I got to use XSplit. And in order to use XSplit, you have to buy a pro account to get your codes. Okay. You do. You really do. And that's the bottom line. That's like $9 a month. But $69.99 a year. What the fuck, UK? You need that damn much money, brothers? Oh. What the fuck? There's only twenty nine ninety nine on blog. And I was making fifty times the amount of money you're doing right now. You took a vacation and went on a fucking cruise when you're supposed to open up in February. Damn, it took you to fucking almost the end of March. What the fuck? And he goes, What are you doing wrong? What are you doing wrong, man? I said, man. I can't get codes and I, I don't know if I can play with a credit card or nothing. I, was, I had 160 people in five minutes. And it, 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 it was crazy. And uh, God bless Terry123. I love him to death. That's my bro. And God bless the Peace Man. And God bless Sammy and G. Um, they don't even talk to me. And, and Pat, God bless you. And how could I forget this? Sam F2000 from Queens, New York. I see this song at Bant out of World War II's room. He was talking some shit about survival. And when I woke up this morning, 
They were showing survival foods on their fucking boob to the propaganda box. And, and I'm like, holy fuck, man. The government's making everybody that scared. Shit to bet. I mean, it's Sam F2000 and I, we talk a lot. But it seems like every time I get a hold of him, he gets another call lately. And it's all right. It's all right. It's like the other night. He was the one showed up. I'll, I'll be on there ten minutes. I walked in there an hour later. He showed up. And, and you know, then uh, God bless Ruth. God bless Ruth to me. Um, you know, I wasn't trying to start no violent ain't none at all. But you know, Scoop really made a big mess on himself. He was like he shit his own pants. You know, when I brought that up. And, uh, and that's what he did. He, he banned half my fucking room. And I gotta go unbanned all. Yaddy dee, yaddy da, little bitch. Yeah, his name's Scotty. You know who you are, boy. Remember that. Once an asshole, always an asshole. There's no better asshole than me. I'm the, I man, I drive a 1960 Cadillac, and I run that motherfucker down the road. You know what? And I eat the fucking quarter pounders of cheese, man, for them non biographical well, fucking containers out the window. And I say, fuck you. And I drive super slow, and I park at handicapped zones, and I watch them handicapped faces. <laughs> As Dennis Lewis says, I'm an asshole, I'm an asshole. We well, shut up, motherfucker. Just keep taking the song. Yeah. God bless you all. May the Lord always be with you. Um, I don't know what Google's done to me. No, I don't. Fuck, man. This is fucked up. But I miss Tom. I miss my Bible bros, man. I really do. Um, The sergeant's supposed to get back a hold of me today about getting a cyst out of the kneecap at least. Fuck it off. Walk bone on bone. I'll deal with it. I will. I will deal with it. But man, that cyst got to go out to this. Man, I didn't want two blocks out into the wilderness and the gravel pits and two blocks back to the truck carrying it few weapons and cases and uh, I woke up the next day my knee was just bigger than my ass yeah and it's a cyst it's all soft tissue it's got to come out it's got to and I have proven evidence on old MRIs it was never there three years ago and the first doctor was Dr. Slivka Three four six five thousand five one three area code. Second doctor, I'm still working with surgeon. He said, "Oh, I'm not capable, Sluka, of doing surgery. Your knee comes completely in and out of joint." I said, "No shit, you stupid fuck. I know it does. I'm gonna amputee on that leg. That leg has been." Operated on at least 20 times. My other one, which is to be my good leg, because it's got a foot left. Yeah, I'm getting old. Oh, yeah. And then I got to go to orthodontist this next week, get the rest of my teeth bites. And God bless Faye. I don't want to say that to you. I really do. I don't care who watches this, probably nobody. I want to say God bless her, because she's. I'm going to get ready to go through the same thing she didn't do. Except for a few. So at least I'll have a palate, you know, to uh, help just folks to. Uh, my friend Blair. Blair, God bless you. And Diana, my new girlfriend from Denmark. And my lead from France. She's my bra woman, man. Oh, yeah. I used one of her brawls to tie the ice pack on my knee. I literally do. 
and it's on my last photo on Facebook. That's the bra I use. That's why I lay it on the floor right next to me because when my knee does it. But I'll tell you what, it was worth it. I shot nine millimeters, 12 gauges, four days, repeated shot, rifle 22s, and my 45 that I sleep with under my pillow. So you at home invade me. Good fucking luck. And when Obama gets a citizen military, you go, oh, we don't need to build our military army. We need to build it. Yeah, because he's a citizen army. And you got these little kids running around. Obama, Obama. Yeah, I put it on Facebook. I find everything. You know, look at our prisonplanet.com. Fuck Alex. Fat big man. And I love you, Pat. God bless you. Let you be on from the side. Because there's so many cult names out. I, I don't even know what this is listed on it. I mean, I got two windows here. And I'm like, what the fuck? I never had this done. You know, I'm basically YouTube. I stay away from Google. Uh, as much as I can. I use it for broadcasts on our stations with experts. And Simon says, you know, he says, I need me some more pussy. That's what he said. Yeah. What? Oh, he said, fuck vagina. He don't want no vagina. And you lazy ass Americans that don't want real freedom, you know, I'm all take the literal man, this guy's old shit, man. He's all gray haired and fuzzy and, and, and just a mess. Not bitches. Get your freedom back. Constitution of the United States of America is poor built on the Lord Jesus Christ, we the people, you know, fuck the three past Bush administrations, fuck Obama, fuck the NIA, fuck the CIA, fuck the FBI, and fuck the government, we want our fucking country back, you bastards, and you better start doing it, you son of bitches that drove further to six, in 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, I can drive it four hours, right? But you drove further for a fucking concert or vacation. Why can't you take that walk? It takes 1,775,000 people to do it, to make a change. I looked up the statistics, all right? I also went to my civil lawyer, which my wife used to be a paralegal for, all right? And we drew up the papers again. And they're going to last. I did it. I fucking did it. You got any balls? Start putting up some signs. You got to take them down off your telephone poles. In some states you're allowed, in some states you're not. They get out there with cars and start meeting people and say, hey, do you, do you, what do you think about the government? You know, and like Warlord does. You know, I mean, I, I, I won't do a political show. I won't. I won't. But you can keep drinking the fluoride and, and, and uh, smelling chemtrails, your snack, and anything else. We'll pay y'all going to die. Every motherfucking way. You know what? You don't give a fuck. You're complacent to your conditions. This is a Freedom Fighter video, too. All right? And this goes out to my one. I know it. Mmm. That chainsaw. Baby, baby, baby. It could even be a man I've never seen. But you know what? It's got great thoughts. And it's got really a general idea. And every weapon there is, because it lives in Flint, Michigan, and you can open carry there. Watch out, motherfuckers. Watch the fuck out. Because they're coming to get you. When I see on the propaganda box, this could happen there, showing all the Assamis and the, the, the earthquakes. And I told you, we're in the middle of the, at the end now, at the end, 
of the El Nino. It happens every 5,000 years. All right? The place. There's five plates. Five. Five. Just five. And the rest of it's water. The five plates on the earth are the cut trees and this and that. The other 70% of it's water. All right? They're shifting, and they shifted again at the beginning of 2014. Call me a liar. My wife is a certified anthropologist. Okay? And she taught me that. A lot of people taught me other things. You know, I didn't learn all this on my own. You know, but don't drink the water. There's blood in the water. Watch out for your bottle of water with the non biological container, that plastic thing. You know, it takes 20 years to dissolve. You know, I have a place up the road. It's not right, it's right off Tui Road. And there's fresh spring water that comes out of it. And it's got a line. And you, can, you can fill up a gallon jugs of milk. But that's still you're putting it in plastic. Well, it's beer made out of 99% water. You know? And uh, there was this dude on here that drinks vodka all day long. He ain't working a fucking month. Jesus Christ. What a lazy fucker. Let his wife take care of him. Man, and he got paint on some windows and scrapable. Man, do you ain't a painter? You know, see, you're not a painter. It's like Uncle Bucky crying on you. If you want to let Cyberland get you down that bad, I think you need to get no life. You better get some reality. Yeah, that's what we did. We went back to reality, friends, and said, "Fuck it for a day." Fuck it for two days. Fuck it for three. Put it on auto serve as I am now. SincereLiveRadio.com You see the thing behind me. My name is Mr. J. It's tattooed in my fucking hand. I've been that since the Beatles White Album came out. I was 11. Yeah. Mr. K. A.K.A. Colt. Bank on it. You understand me? If you don't like this, don't watch it. Your government's been fucking you since the day you were born. And you don't get it. You have never, ever, never, ever, ever, never, ever, never, ever, never, ever, ever, baby, wait, wait. And you don't even realize it. Ignorance is blessed. 